My name is Stuart Morris and I'm one of the practitioners at Birmingham Holistic Health Centre. do lots of different therapies including EFT and Psych K and hypnotherapy. And I'm going to talk a little bit about EFT, um, which is Emotional Freedom Technique. So years ago I'd suffered with terrible anxiety. Um, I was on 160 milligrams of beta blockers for over a decade. And that anxiety travelled with me forever, wherever I've gone, to be honest with you. And I've learnt a lot of things over the years. And um, one of the things I came across was something called EFT. So this is going back, I don't know, 20 years perhaps, really, well, maybe even a bit longer. So I was, we were away on holiday um, in this retreat place. And um, I was feeling anxious, panicky about it being away I suppose and we was on this retreat and this man was going to do some shiatsu with me some shiatsu treatment and I told him you know I'm feeling anxious all the time and and if you're anxious you know what that's like it just kind of travels with you and so he said have you heard of this EFT I said no, I've never heard of that and he said let me show you and he started tapping on these points around here and he did about two or three different rounds. And an extraordinary thing was that the feeling of anxiety just left me. It was almost like I couldn't access the fear and the worry. It was really weird. And that night I had a great night's sleep and then came back and, you know, felt better because of that. And so I went in search of what it was and discovered there was a man at that time called Gary Craig who um, was an engineer, and uh, he'd been researching self-help and so forth and come across this thing called TFT by a man called Callahan, who was a psychologist. And apparently Callahan was working with someone with a phobia and a couple of years into you know, the, um, the therapy sessions with that, wasn't getting any results. So he'd heard about this TFT. Well, he'd, he'd heard about these... Um, acupressure points. So he got it to tap and the phobia went. And so he developed uh, TFT. Gary Craig come along, heard about it and developed it again in his own unique way, something called EFT. And his real goal was to kind of get it out there to everyone in every home, basically for free, I guess, really at the time. Anyway, I trained with Gary Craig and a lady called Professor Carrington. Uh, who developed something called the Choices Method. And the truth is, now, and uh, there, are, there are hundreds of variations of, of EFT, lots of different points that you can tap on. But I wanted to show you something, perhaps, that you could do while you're kind of watching this. And it's really simple. And I say there's lots of different ways of doing it, and this is just one way of which, if you came to me for a session, I would teach you quite a few different ways when that kind of works right for you. But generically, um, this is how it works. So let me just backtrack a little bit. So imagine, like, stress-wise, what happens with all of us is that we kind of get caught up in the story. So imagine all of these points on your hand. And you can do this if you want to with me. So you might be worrying about the future, finances, you know, wife, husband, children, kids. One thought feeds another, feeds another. And if you're, if the kind of that story is negative enough, you're going to become that story. So the first thing we do with EFT, in a way, is this: we put some distance. So when you tap on these points, you go into a post-hypnotic state of mind, which is almost like neutral. So imagine the brain as a bucket, and over years, that bucket fills up with all of your stuff. All of your worries, the traumas, and if you're alive, you're going to live through all of these things and then some. And then it tends to overflow. Mental health-wise, this bucket, this brain, uh, overflows into one of three symptoms. Anxiety, depression, and anger. But the honest truth is, name your poison into a thousand different illnesses, really, I guess, really one way or another. And there's no two ways about it. We know that stress is... Contributory, contributory to most illnesses make them worse, doesn't it? When you feel stressed, anything you've got makes it feel worse. 
and in some cases proven to be perhaps the catalyst for our demise in lots of ways. So if we could start to pick one or two things out of this bucket, you know, maybe some trauma that you've had in the past, something that you just can't quite let go of. And if we did that each week, then the chances are that bucket would go down and those symptoms of anxiety, depression and anger would probably reduce. And from clinical experience over the years, that's what happens with everyone. And I say in my kind of role is there's not one way, there's your way, and we have to find how you find your way. Having said that, I'm going to tap. Um, I'm going to show you a little tapping technique that you can practice now. So I just want you to close your eyes perhaps for a second or two. And just think of something, imagine that bucket that, you know, in your, has been in something in your mind that you've lived through. So something that's causing you a lot of distress or, a lot of uncertainty, something that's making you anxious. And if you found that, just hold that. And maybe on a scale from 1 to 10, so see if you can raise that scale as high to a 10 as you can get, as comfortable as you want to feel now, within reason. So imagine bringing that emotion to the fore, that anxiety, and give it a name even though I have this feeling of anxiety about, and then just put your own ending on that. So just raise that feeling. Okay, just open your eyes, and, and what we're going to do is we're going to tap here with the gamut point. You're going to tap this setup point, and we're going to say that first part, even though I have this feeling of, and then the next part we're going to do, because you're acknowledging that to yourself, is even though I have this feeling of, I choose to feel. I don't know, freedom. And I know this is very generic, but I just wanted to do something with you. So let's get back to that feeling in a sec. And we're going to tap these points. I'm going to go over them. And you, can, you can join in with me if you wish to. So think of that feeling of anxiety. And you're going to add your own words. So just tap here. Even though I have this feeling of anxiety about, name it. I choose to feel freedom from this. I choose to feel free, happier. And again, even though I have this feeling of anxiety about, I choose to feel free, to feel better. And again, even though I have this feeling of anxiety about, I choose to feel freer, better. And then we're going to tap around these points. So. Even though I have this feeling, so you're tapping right in the corner of your eyes here, both sides if you wish to. You can do one, but we're going to do two. Even though I have this feeling of anxiety about, I choose to feel calmer, better. And again here, in the middle of the eyebrow, in the eyebrows here, right in the corner of the eye, even though I have this feeling of anxiety about, I choose to feel better, freer. On the eyes, even though I have this feeling of anxiety about, I choose to feel freer, happier. Even though I have this feeling of anxiety about, I choose to feel freer, happier. Yeah, under the lip. Even though I have this feeling of anxiety about, I choose to feel calmer, happier. Collarbone. Even though I have this feeling of anxiety about, I choose to feel freer, calmer, thymus. Even though I have this feeling of anxiety about, I choose to feel calmer, happier. And you're just going to tap your thumb. Tap your next finger, just on the end. Tap the next finger. And then the little finger here. And then between the ring finger and this one, just tap here like this. And keep your head still. And I want you to, while your head's still, look down to the left. Look down to the right. And circle your eyes in a big circle one way. And then circle your eyes in the other direction. Okay, I want you to hum. Happy birthday out loud. <laughs> Good. Count to five. Out loud. Put your hands down. Breathe in. And breathe out. 
we're going to do another round. Just going to change it slightly for the first part. Even though I have this feeling of anxiety about, then we're going to do the positive one. I choose to feel freer, happier. Do your eyes. Even though I have this feeling of anxiety about, now here, I choose to feel happier, better. Here, even though I have this feeling of anxiety about, collarbone, I choose to feel happier, better, freer, finest. Even now, this feeling of anxiety about, I'm just going to round a positive one. I choose to feel happier, calmer. I choose to feel better. Under your eyes, I choose to feel happier. Under your nose, I choose to feel happier, calmer. Under your lip, I choose to feel happier, calmer. Collarbone, I choose to feel happier, calmer. Here, yeah. thymus, I choose to feel happier, calmer. I'm going to change it slightly. This is called the healing cause. I just point at the jaw. You could say, words to the effect of, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. Okay, temples. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. And the bridge. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. Left hand on the brace, then right hand on the forehead. Only positive thoughts in, only positive thoughts out. And switch. Only positive thoughts in, only positive thoughts out. Keep your hands down, big breath in. And breathe out. Just close your eyes for a minute. What's there? changed. Okay, put your hands on your stomach and bring them all the way up to your heart. Think of something you really appreciate, something you're really grateful for. Connect to that. Your throat, over your forehead, top of the spine, back down. And let's do another round, just to feel easier, feeling better, feeling better, feeling better, feeling more relaxed, calmer and calmer. Breathe in and breathe out. What's here now? Maybe it's just taking the edge off something for you. Anyway, folks, that's pretty much how we kind of develop it, really, I suppose. We develop aspects of that. Um, I think it's a really good good thing to, for everyone to know, to be honest with you. There's so many different things out there now that we can tap into that hopefully one day I'll be in the NHS. And... Um, yeah, so people can just kind of have that skill set. I don't know about you, but I kind of know when I've got something I can fall back on, you know, when I'm feeling anxious or whatever it is, I can tap, at least begin to start to lift that for some distance between me and my worries and so forth. And then there's some other breathing techniques and meditation techniques and all kinds of things that we can do. And, and eventually, kind of really, when you come and have an appointment, um, I teach you one or two things, and you only need one or two things that can kind of help you. And then we support that perhaps with something like uh, the right herb, of well, which there's some beautiful herbs out there. You know, if you're not on antidepressants and anti anxiety drugs, you know, we can use nature to support passiflora, venous sativa, you know, nutrients, food supplements like tryptophan. You know, and uh, raises serotonin, creates melatonin, some brilliant things that we can do. You know, vitamin D even, you know, makes a huge difference. Essential fatty acids, hydration, lots of things we can do to support the modality that we're working with, of which I say there are, there are hundreds of different things that we can use. But I just wanted to share with you a version of EFT uh, and with some healing codes in there. 
But listen, um, if you're feeling anxious, a little bit depressed, then you can give me a ring and come and have a session with me. And what I'll probably do, there's a, a nice little breathing technique that I'll probably record on this page called 7-Eleven, uh, which will help, again, calm you down. So you can come back to this page if you're feeling anxious and have another go. Uh, and where you can practice the 7-Eleven breathing uh, technique that I'll, that I'll pop on this page as well. And if you're really struggling, then, then come and see me. So I'm Stuart Morris, um, Birmingham Holistic Health Centre. And um, listen, have a great day. Thank you very much.